Hello, humans of the internet. I'm HexTSL, and I have now finished this. Like, like, legitimately done, finished it. Now, how long did it take? Um, that the problem. I mean, the problem is with that. I don't know because I, I have, I've just changed the wrong desktop. I have, uh, I have seven hours logged on Real Mist. I have about an hour logged on Retro Mist, like original OG Mist, and I played the Xbox Live one for about five hours. Um, I finished it in Real Mist. This is the one I've settled on. In the end, it, it was it was Real Mist, the 2014 3D remake, that was the one that I played through to the end. The reason is it supports my ultra wide monitor fine. Um, I can use my mouse, which is nice, and it's basically a rehash of the original. Whereas the remake has changed some of the visual tones as well as adding some of uh, some weird buttons we have to pull stuff and the ship. I raise the ship, um, and yeah. And now I'm at the end of Mist. I have some like kind of like kind of mixed feelings because I didn't, as I said in my last video, I didn't play it originally and I've been really on board with it. Um, when I got to the end, uh, I got the good ending as well. I know that because the achievement was called good ending. <laughs> it's literally like the achievement is called that. Uh, I got right away to the end. This, this currently is the unlocked island. This is the island with everything available. Invisible to me. Um, I feel like the 2014 is definitely the best version. Even if you was to buy um, the remake on on actual Steam and play it with a keyboard and mouse, because I was playing it on Xbox Game Pass, um, I'm not convinced you would have a better experience than you do with this version. Um, the visual tone of the new one is a little bit more friendly, and it's a little bit some of the some of the things that that you could miss you can't miss in the new one because like there's there's a one when you go in, you go into the ship uh, and there's an area where there's there's a tunnel and you have to click on the wall and if you, unless there's power running to it you don't even see the the wall you can miss it really easily and in this new one it's like literally just a hole in the wall and it's like oh you can't miss that um as well as not feeling as oppressive like when you go into the ship here under 2014 and the original it's this oppressive barren it feels like a wasteland it feels like you're in a, you're in a, you're in the ocean and there's no it feels almost hopeless right in the new one it's the like disney version of uh of lost and afraid it's it's a bit the tone is a bit off um so yeah this is the one i'd recommend buying and also the fact that it's like it's like six quid whereas the new one is is more expensive also you can see from this book here i should give you a clue if you know what you look for there is a small very small post like post game sequence um of events in this way you gain access to another area and it's a very small sequence and it's a bit shit uh, and it's probably not worthwhile but the only way to get that is in the real mist remake it's not it's not in the rest of it it's not in the main the main bit only in this one so you won't get it in the new one and i, I, I did go and I, I, I did go and um speed run it to see if that that area was in the new one. Now, and I'll say speed running is the great thing about Mist. I didn't realize this going into it. I only know this now. I finished it. Is that if you know what you're doing, this game is this game is a piece of piss. Like you can get through this game in like two minutes. This is like like discovering the answers to questions and digging through all this part of the um this kind of part of of the game, right? But once you know the answers, you walk into this this place is your playground. You can go anywhere, and it's trivial to do anything, and it's that to me is a testament to the game, man. Like, like literally, like I logged into this thing and I just, I can just walk through the, I walk around the island, I just, I can open anything, go anywhere, and the puzzles are simple enough that you can remember the solution, but like not simple enough that you can guess the solution. So, like guesswork would not get you anything. But once you know the answer, blam, 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 and you can get anything you want done this island. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy I've played it. I'm, I had a lovely time. My criticism with the game, and this is this is with all Mist, and I've played, I've literally finished the game in the original Mist now, with Mist with like 2014, the real Mist, and the new remake, the new one, the new new one, um, and they all have the same problem is, you almost don't know when you're done, and I guess that's kind of by design, and that's part of the unsettling nature of the game, right? But like, you don't, you don't know when it's time to finish, when it's time to say that you've done it, right? Because like, you get the good end, and you talk to a man, and, and there's there's some exposition and stuff. But then uh, you don't know that you finished the game. You don't. You don't know. It's not like you get credits. And it's like you're done. You can go home now. It's. It's like at that point you go. Is, is there more to do? Is the. Is the. Is the other things to do? Like I expected to leave the island and get credits at the end, and that is not what happens. You just sort of like end up on the island with everything unlocked and open. You're like, oh, I just. I guess I just stop playing. The game encourages you to look for Easter eggs and explore the island and become savvy with it. But I don't feel like I'd finished. You know, like I did. I never at any point felt like, hey, I've. You know, I've made it to the end. I've done this. I've, you know, 
it doesn't feel final. It just feels like the game stops. And they could have added more content, but like they could have added like a little path and there's more more missed. Um, but they didn't. And I would have liked a final, like a finite ending. Also, there is a point in the air, the world, the age you go to through the rocket ship. There's a point where you have to do essentially a maze that doesn't really tell you it's a maze until you get lost and realize it's a maze. And that was fucking annoying. It was super fucking annoying. Um, but once you throw it, you're like, oh, it was a little bit of a larger game. And these games always, you know, 90s games do love mazes, I guess. Uh, it does seem to be a thing. Um, and yeah, I didn't feel like it was necessary. And I felt like that could have just been like, you know, a sliding block puzzle instead of something like that telegraphed itself. Um, by the time I got to that science, that science, scientific age, I think it's called the scientific bit um, with all the with radars and through the rocket ship stuff. By the time I got there, I felt like the game was wearing thin, uh, and not because I don't think it was because I was bored. But as soon as as soon as you open this door over here, right, the game starts. It, it, everything from that point onwards feels a bit lazy. Like it feels a bit like there's lots of sound puzzles and music puzzles, and there's lots of stuff that you don't really. Yeah, you, you don't. I just it just it just feels like cheaper than the rest of the game. It just feels like less less good than the rest of the game. Um, so yeah, that's a shame. There's also no like you assume the rocket ship flies or like something, but it seems like it's just a book in there. You don't actually travel anywhere in the ship. So I would like to see the ship actually fly. I would like to have seen something with the, and a little cutscene of the ship flying and stuff. And I checked in the new one as well. You don't get that there either. Uh, but yeah, overall, I really fucking enjoyed my time with Nist. I really enjoyed it. And I'm, I want something else now. I don't feel like I feel like even though I've really enjoyed this, I don't feel like I want to go straight on to playing Riven. I don't feel like that's a useful thing. Um, I all like missed five, whatever the fucking other games are called. I don't feel like I'd get a lot out of that straight away because I've enjoyed this and I, and I was getting fatigued towards the end of probably fifteen hours across multiple type, multiple versions of the same game. Um, I did enjoy. I really enjoyed once I'd finished it, make a new game and just piss through everything like like nothing is in your way. That's a real power play type feeling which i really enjoyed and it was it just felt good to do that uh the remake uh yeah the remake if you i think like genuinely just buy this one and save yourself some beans but if you absolutely must play the remake you should be aware that like these panels here you see these little tv sets here you can't see what's in them when they're off so you have to go and fuck around pointlessly to figure out what's behind what's in each tv screen which is annoying the pictures here you have to interact with to get clues um there's a little handle you have to pull instead of just smacking the actual glass here um yeah they've, they've actually improved the bookshelf because the bookshelf here the problem is you don't know which books you can read and which books can't like it's not really incredibly clear at first what's interactable uh, and the new one just makes the books like you can't use very obviously broken like it makes them even grayed out so there's no colors on them and stuff so that's better um and yeah the uh the lighting is nicer like you haven't got a torch in the new in the new one but you don't need one because they're made anything brighter i kind of like the day night cycle this one employs though it, it doesn't make any sense it's stupid but like, I like it. It's like it kind of feels like you put your torch on you and you're Scooby Dooing around. It's kind of cool. Um, there is a gravestone over here as well, which you can look at. Look, Tiana. Uh, in the new one, it doesn't say Tiana. It's got like loads of symbols, and I'm like, really? That just feels like okay. That, that just felt weird that they changed that. Uh, and uh, some of the animation, especially when you bring up the drawbridge, here, you do the puzzle to bring the drawbridge up here. Um, on this one, it's like flash, flash. Drawbridge is there. On the new one, it's like. Well, I have to wait for ages for that fucking animation to finish. Um, also, there are, at some point, there's very small moments in the game where you get to talk to NPCs, whether you get scripted dialogue moments, right? Um, in the new one, those are 3D models. They're like the game characters. In this, they're like they're like video that's been like, like, like overlaid and locked onto it. Um, I much prefer the video. I think the video adds a sense of, I don't know, a sense of strange to the game. Like, they look... They don't look quite match the environments. They look weird, uh, and that's good. And that that I like the sense of the sense of like this. This doesn't look right. This seems wrong. I enjoy that, um, and that's just missing. That's just totally missing from the uh, from the new one. That the, the, the game characters are match the environment perfectly. They look a bit potatoy as well. They've got like they've got they're a bit doughy looking. Uh, it's a bit weird, uh, but yeah. Overall, I would totally suggest people like use mist. I think it's, uh, use mist play mist. It was an absolute blast. Don't use guys. Don't use spoilers. Um, just just bask in the island and figure it out and like if you if you absolutely must get tips from someone right go get like, like ask someone that's played it before if they can remember how to do it that's probably better than reading a guide because like other people's other people's vague memory of puzzles is like an interesting way of progressing i think as well 
Um, but yeah, I've, I've had a blast. And I did, I expected playing this for, to be honest, I expected to play this for a couple of weeks. I didn't expect to blaze through it in two days. Um, that's weird to me. Um, but I did. And it was, it was, it was good. And then, yeah, overall, I, overall, I think, uh, I think, yeah, it's been a really valuable, like valuable experience. The wrong way. But I've, I've, like, I've worked my brain out. I've looked at things in a different way to know that I would do in the past. And, you know, generally just, just had a nice old time. I've just, I've just enjoyed, enjoyed my time and, and enjoyed basking in it. Uh, let's go to this one. Look. These cut scenes, they're so good. They're so good. Uh, yeah, I, I did go back as I said as I said in the uh, in the last video I showed that I'd gone back and played the original original Mist, uh, which is your scum VM on Steam. And yeah, look, look at this. It's just this is just like bleak and rainy and dark and and foreboding, and it's just a little bit Disney in the new one. It's just a, it just feels like less good. It just feels like you know, like it's fine I suppose. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, also there's a, there's a generator up here. You get you do a puzzle. You get to a generator. It's still locked. Okay. You get this generator up there, and it just looks like a battery attached to a hand crank in in the current one. And in the new one, it's this ornate steampunky piece of equipment. And I'm like, oh, it's like it's less good because it's less janky. Like the janky is kind of what makes it. So, uh, Drew, friend friend of the channel, Drew was recommended. I play the Forgotten City next uh, because he said it like it's, it's got similar, it's got a similar thing going on, a similar vibe going on. You know, it's like it's even though it's not not the sim, not the same game at all. Apparently, it's got a lot of puzzling and working out for yourself, and a lot of reminiscent of this. Someone else has recommended I go back and play Seventh Guest, which I don't think is the same as Mist, because part of the joy of Mist is not knowing what the fucking puzzles are, or like, like not even recognizing something that's a puzzle as a puzzle until like you've been looking at it for two hours. That's part of the joy of Mist, right? Like everything, it has to be worked out. When Seventh Guest is like, go into a room, watch a cutscene, play chess. Go into a room, watch a cutscene, move, a, you know, move some cake around. It's like it feels less uh less organic and it feels more gamey and part of the joy of mist was it feels like a place and someone's trying to obfuscate stuff rather than a place where some you know rather than something where rather than something something set up for you to discover it's like because it does feel genuinely like like the answers in mist are hidden on purpose whereas like something like seventh guest it just feels like oh look i'm playing chess now why it doesn't make any fucking sense i don't understand this um but yeah Overall, great game anyway. Yep, you know, just, just gush about this for another half hour. Really, I'm not good. I'm going to stop now. Uh, yeah, the Seventh Guest did have a remake, didn't it? There was a remake of the Seventh Guest. Maybe I would enjoy that. Thinking about it, a bit more gamey, but maybe I still enjoy it. Who knows? Uh, I've been HexDSL. This has been Missed. Um, and yeah, if you are interested in achievements, only the 2014 one and the new one has achievements because the old one is Scum VM, and you'll get no achievements. Also, whenever I say Scum VM, I feel like it's an insult. Uh, if you want to help me buy puzzle games for the 90s, you can do that over on patreon.com slash hxdsl. Otherwise, my Amazon wish list is linked below every video. Um, I will add lots of missed merchandise to that, I guess. <laughs> is it missed merchandise? Can you get missed action figures? That'd be dope, wouldn't it? Uh, goodbye, everyone. Thank you for your time.